So we're going to add some more effects onto vocal tracks. I have this one vocal uh, that I added here, and it sounds like this. Hip hop. Now that it's completely dry right out of the box, as we say, it's just the audio itself. Um, and it's kind of low. We'll listen to it again. You can hear it. Uh, I'll actually move this over, which is always a good thing, and use this. Hip hop. So you can hear that low end uh, right there. And the, the first thing I want to do is I do want to put a little bit of reverb in here. I'm just going to dial it up and take a listen. Hip hop. A little bit of reverb goes a long way to vocals. You want it to sound a little bit more natural. You can decide how much you want to do. I'm going to leave this right up the middle here. Uh, I can make it sound lower by adding a little bit more low end. Let's see what that does. Hip hop. That brings out the low end of the person's voice. You'll hear that. Here, let me take it out completely. It's very subtle, so I'm also going to turn up the volume on this a little bit. Hip hop. There we go. I'll turn the volume up here so you could hear it more clearly. Hip hop. There we go. So I can turn up the bass. Hip hop. And you start to get a lot of uh, what are called plosive sounds here. But, 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 but. It doesn't really add a lot of quality of low end. Hip hop. A little bit, but it gets too much, so... Hip-hop. Now, I could take out some of the treble, right? Less is more, actually. Remember, less of something may add more of what is there already. Hip-hop. Yeah, that sounds okay. Let's try it again. Hip-hop. Yeah, I don't want it to sound unnatural, like it's stuffy in a box, you know, covered up. Something has a cloth over his face. So there are other ways that we could do that. Remember, once I've made some adjustments, reverb, treble, pan, do some stuff, fuss with that... Don't forget to save your work. Always, always save your work before we go on. I want to make sure we do that. I'm going to add some audio effect here, uh, but I don't want to add it here because the audio effect that I want isn't actually here. It's actually going to be right here in the audio file. We're going to make some adjustments to this audio file. I'm going to zoom in, and when I get to click on the edit, I get to do some stuff, and that is vocal transform. We're going to make some adjustments right onto this audio track, right here onto this audio file, I should say, as opposed to across the whole track. Now, you could do some things like vocal transform and make it sound brighter or darker, a little darker, alien. Uh, one of the things we don't want to do is make sure, uh, make voices sound unnatural. It's not a bad thing for certain things to have things sound like a robot or an alien or harmonize and stuff, and you can experiment with that or move things up and down octaves, it starts to sound very, very unnatural. So you could try a little darker to see what happens. Let's see what happens. Darker means getting the low end. So let's hear what happens. Now, to me, that does not sound natural. So I'm going to go edit, undo, transform audio, and then I'm going to save my work. Make sure I'm always saving. Hip hop. And I'm back to the beginning. Instead of using vocal transform, really the best thing for you to use is this thing called change pitch. Now, we're only going to move change pitch either up or down, minus 1 or 2, or minus plus 1 or 2. We're not going to be changing this, because what do these 1s and 2s mean on either side? They mean a half step, a half step on the piano keyboard. So the shortest distance between any two notes on the piano keyboard is called a half step. Between a white key to a black key or a black key to a white key or in a couple of instances between two white keys, between B and C and between E and F. So a half step is one plus two is two half steps or a whole step. Changing something a half or a whole step is a lot. So I want to go down one half step. So before I do that, I've been doing a lot of talking. Let's hear what it sounds like originally. Hip hop. And let's see if I just did a change pitch, one half step. Give it time to process. And here we go. Hip hop. Now to me, that sounds natural, but darker, right? And I might want to then come in and adjust some of my EQ still. Hip hop. Because now that I've changed the pitch, I might be able to use a little bit more of the treble part of that new pitch. Hip hop. Or less. You have to just keep trying. Hip hop. That's why this cycle area is a good thing to adjust so that you can just keep listening over and over. It's only going to get so small, unfortunately, but that's what it is. And here we go. Hip hop. So I want to leave some clarity. Hip hop. To me, that sounds pretty good. I like the way that sounds. 
I might adjust some reverb here, add more, add less. Hip hop. And now that sounds pretty darn good to me. And um, I'm gonna leave it like that. So vocal transform will make it sound like a different person without it, um, I'm sorry, pitch change, not vocal transform. Vocal transform might make it sound like a totally different human being, like an alien or an animal or something. You really want to avoid that for this particular project. And pitch change is what we want to go with, plus or minus one, and use those or two, plus or minus one or two, that's it. Anything else is going to make it sound unnatural, and we don't want to do that. 